Welcome to Baba's Dog Show, recorded live in Gold Coast, Australia. Welcome to another episode of Baba's Dog Show. As usual, I have special guests appearing in my show, and many of you would know who they are. And this gentleman is not exceptional. I've known him for many years, and today I have our brother Nawasan. Nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. <laughs> nice to nice nice see, see you, actually. Okay. Yeah, yes, the brother. Yes. Yeah. It's been a while, but uh, this is his full name is Naomichi Hiranosa. That is full name. Right? Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well done. Well right. done. And also, he wears several hats. But as we continue with our interview, you'll come to know what are the hats he's wearing. So uh, I call him Naosa. You know his first name, but I call him Naosa. So thank you very much for coming today. Thank you so, very yeah, much for inviting me. Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm trying to get hold of you. You're always busy, always busy. Now, um, please give a brief introduction of yourself, like where you came from, where you were born. Mm. Yes. Uh, my name is now Hirano. Yes. I'm from Japan. Right. Uh, born and raised in Tokyo. Tokyo, okay. Yes, in the middle of Tokyo. Uh -huh. And up until 1990s. Right. So, there so uh, nearly 33 years living oh. here. Oh, okay. Mm. So th is this the first country you after you left uh, uh, Japan to come and stay? Yes, actually. It's the uh, uh, first seven months yes. in Brisbane, okay. in Durpiri. Oh. Yeah, it was beautiful. But then at that time, it's not much work for the Japanese people in right. the Brisbane area. Right. So they were found the job in Gold Coast. So, right. Uh, after six months, we, I moved to the Gold Coast. Okay. After that. Too. So, so you moved here because of the job. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. And I know you have a lovely wife and three daughters. Three daughters. Yeah. Yes. And they all grown up now. Yeah. All grown, gone. So they all Aussies. They all Aussies. <laughs> all Aussies. All Aussies. <laughs> Aussies. I must tell you one thing. When I became the secretary of the Gold Coast Post about twelve years ago. I wanted to invite people from different cultural backgrounds. I didn't have much record, but I went to him. At that time, he was the CAM officer Cam at, officer. at the MCCGC. Mm -hmm. This is about 12 years ago. And our brother, Akhtar Shah, he took me along with him to meet uh, Nawasa. And he gave me a list of names who I can invite. You still remember? Yeah, yeah. It was uh, a <laughs> it was long time ago. Long, long time ago. Yeah. So he, he gave me, okay. Italian organization, you invite so and so, Spanish organization, so and so, Hungary. Different. So he had the list of names. So I really appreciate because that was my first project mm. to invite all the uh, uh, community leaders, religious leaders, and then you had the list of names and you shared with me. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. No problem at all. I speak Japanese a little, little bit anyway. So that's good. And uh, presently, what are you doing? What are you involved? I know you left MCCGC already. Mm -hmm. So after that, I remember you you uh, you joined the Queensland Police mm -hmm. as a liaising mm -hmm. officer. Mm -hmm. You're still the liaising officer. Yes. Oh, yes. good, good. Yes. And uh, I just to explain to the audience, a liaising officer is uh, they go around and meet with the community, mm -hmm. and your focus will be especially the Japanese community. Uh, yes or no? Yes yeah, or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the Japanese community I'm do, uh, not focusing uh, is the, probably about forty percent. Okay. Yeah, but sixty percent is for multicultural. Right, right, yeah. right. Because uh, at that time, before you joined the police, mm. I remember you were the first person, and myself, and few other people, for the founding member of the police and community group. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very long name. I can't repeat. Now it's very long. <laughs> yes. So that was also about eleven years ago. Mm. So I think you are the initiator mm. with the police. We founded that organization. Yes, that yes. was very good. But time flies, eh? Indeed, time, time flies. Mm. Time flies. So uh, above with the PLO, mm. that means the police liaison officer. Mm -hmm. What other position that you hold in the community? I'm doing the uh, currently is president of the Japan Community of Queensland. Okay. And you know, which this organization is the uh, to supporting the uh, avoid the uh, uh, socially and uh, mentally is isolation. Right, is right. the uh, uh, psychological isolation. It's the uh, very important because of the from overseas. Yes. Coming to the uh, settle, try to settle into Queensland. Right. It's very hard to 
you know, non English. Are these speaking. for the Japanese people? For the Japanese people. Okay. And then uh, we uh, sometimes it's senior people. Right. And also another domestic family violence victims. Right, right. They are isolated. Right. So we are trying to support them right. to reconnect with the community. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. We'll stay, um, our, try, uh, our community aiming is eventually right. try to establish good half right. for those things, those the supporting those people. Okay. But uh, that is one my job. Yeah. And another one is the uh, committee member of the uh, uh, Gold Japanese Society of the Gold Coast. Right, right. So... Right. I was the president for a long time. Right. So that's why is the current president is requesting us me to join a committee to right. support right. Um, connection to give it to them. Good, yeah. good. Mm. So you do a lot of things for the Japanese community here. Yes. Yeah, I know. That's yes. good. That's really good. It's very important because mm. uh, you are one person who I know among the Japanese mm. that you have connection in different, different communities, mm. different religious groups. And uh, that really helped. So they were very smart to get you as a member. Very good. Very yes. good. Yeah. So uh, so now, uh, how do you feel the Japanese people? You see, you see, for me, I lived in Japan before. Mm. Um, they are reserved, very reserved people. They're not mm. very outgoing, mm. you know. Mm. Or graduate, they takes time. Mm. It takes time for them to understand. So how do you feel those Japanese who have come to Australia? Mm. Maybe you have second generation. Mm. Are they uh, more uh, able to move different mm -hmm. communities? Or how you... The second generation will be much, much better uh, to connect it to the community, right. uh, other communities. Right. But uh, uh, first generation, such as like us, yes. is a bit of shy. shy Still yeah. a bit of shy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we, that's why we are trying to encourage right. the people to how to talk to the people right how what is the multicultural meaning of that yes, yes. multiculturalism is the uh, not just there is a people are there yeah, no no we are understanding mutual understanding yes mutual respect right those kind of things if you are based on that yes you don't necessarily afraid yes the human being is human being right right just respect them yes who they are yes what they are what yes. they want and yes. then we can talk. Yes. That is the best That's result. Right. Yeah. So we encourage that. That is the, uh, my, uh, one of the, my uh, passion right. to the communities, That's our right. communities. Hey, good. wake up. <laughs> good, good. Brother, you are in similar line with my message. Mm. Like I say, mm. no matter where you come from, mm. no matter what language you speak, mm. no matter what your religious beliefs are, mm. we are all brothers and sisters. Yeah. Therefore, we should respect each other, extend love and care, and be compassionate. Mother, very similar to exactly. your thought. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That's where the, just matter, just matter of the where, yeah, where put. That's yeah. it. It's all, yeah. it's all the same message. Exactly. The same message. Yes. yes. Uh, now, son, that's really interesting, you know, mm. because uh, uh, as you know, Gold Coast is a very special place. You have lived here for more than thirty years. Mm -hmm. What changes have you seen during these thirty years? <coughs> mm. When I was uh, migrated to about 30 years ago, right, is still a lot of discrimination. Okay. When I was actually, is happening to me, yes. is when I was uh, waiting for the uh, uh, supermarket yeah. uh, meat section yeah, yeah. and waiting for that yeah. to buy something. Yeah. And then the shop person, yeah. is, they look like me, yes. but they said, who's next? Ooh. Like this, and just ignore me. Ignore you, yes. 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 And luckily, kind, very kind person, Australian lady, yes. is next to me. Is he's waiting? Right, right. So I can do, I can buy something. Right, right, right. But it's the uh, something like that. Yes. And when I took my daughter yeah. to the uh, park, yes. they said uh, the uh, people from over there yeah. praying, go home. Oh, like this, oh. it's always happening. Some is that kind of happening right, all the time. Right, right. So um, yeah, then nowadays most it's gone. 
Sort of, yes. Yeah. I have to agree with you uh, yeah. now, son. It's, it's going still years. there, yeah. but it's the uh, most of the people are accepting, uh, you know. Yes, very beautiful. I think it's one of the reasons is because of uh, multiculturalism, a mm -hmm. lot of engagements. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, like, I know every year you organize a Japanese festival mm -hmm. at Robina. Mm -hmm. And that brings a lot of people from different cultural backgrounds. Yeah, yes. So they understand the Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. And I think this really helps. Like mm -hmm. the Indians do their thing. Mm -hmm. The Muslims do their thing as well. They have their exactly. festivals. Yeah. So I think it's very important mm -hmm. to engage the people, to have more uh, activities mm -hmm. where you can intermingle with each other. Yeah. Like uh, we have open day. Mm -hmm. We have Ramadan, we invite people from different backgrounds. Mm. So this will break down a lot of barriers and misunderstandings. Exactly. Right? So we good part is Gold Coast multicultural. Yeah. yeah. We invite every kind of the leaders of different backgrounds. Yes. Like you, yes. like Italian crafts, yes. Yes. These, all these multicultural leaders yes. we invite to right. the Japanese event. Right. And they invite it to us. Right. Us, we can go to their events. Right. That kind of relationship yes. is established. Yes. That is the one that thing's good part. Yes. And also what I think yes. is the uh, long time ago, yes. we don't have that kind of things. Yes. So the Gold Coast main people, you know, the majority of people don't understand multiculturalism. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, have providing information. Right. If, Knowledge is the most important. Yes, yes. So the uh, if they don't know, yes, they're afraid. Yes. So if I don't know much about the Islamic community, yes. then yes, Islamic is you are right. What's going on? That's true. You are right. So if because I know you, yes, I know the a lot of Islamic friends now. Yes, yes. It's nothing changed. That's it's right. Just only a religious. Yes, what they believe. That's right. But who you are is yes. different. Who you are is you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I would like to add on that because we have leaders who are very understanding mm -hmm. and also very approachable. Mm -hmm. So what they do is when they come to understand you, mm -hmm. so they explain to their members. Yeah. So the message dwindled down mm -hmm. uh, to everybody in their community, mm -hmm. like in your case, Japanese community, because you know about Islamic culture. Mm -hmm. You've been engaging with Islamic community for more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. So you're understanding. So when somebody talk about Islam, you know how to reply to them mm -hmm. because yeah, I work with them, I know them. So this is this. Of course, sometimes the media mm. plays a, a negative role, you know, yes, yes. giving the wrong information. But it's okay. I believe now lots have changed. Mm -hmm. uh, till be when you came thirty years ago, mm. things have changed a lot. And you know, our children mm -hmm. go with different other ch children from different background. Mm. So they have a uh, common understanding between them. Uh, so this has improved. That's what I say. This generation is more advanced than our generation. It no? is. Yeah. 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 So a lot of improved. So now, son, I would like to speak to you more and more. We've got a lot of stories. I yeah. know you're already, but we always have a time limit. Yeah. Every time I say this, because I really want to continue our conversation. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, we are very much limited time. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you so much for thank stopping you by much. today. And uh, we got to know about you and then, of course, your activities and the Japanese uh, groups on, on the Gold Coast. Any, any activities coming in the near future for the Japanese? Yeah, we are going to, as you said, yes. Japan and Friends Day will be the 21st of September. Okay. And then uh, also the uh, this year, ah. it's a great thing. Right. It's we have the, uh, donated from Japan how, how, over $100,000 worth of the uh, portable shrine. Portable shrine? Yeah, it's called oh. Mikoshi. Oh. It's the shrine, like carrying the Mikoshi, oh. the portable shrine. and. And walk around that is the uh, uh that one of the significant oh. things for us oh. and then uh, the uh, company is the donated to us oh. and then which is the uh, uh introduced sometimes hopefully in around mid mid this year okay mm. and you distribute the guests this one information oh, to oh. you uh, 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 invite to the uh, community Leaders uh, yeah. to the uh, yeah. uh, hands over yeah. ceremony. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so. The, so um, where will you place this shrine? Prob probably at the uh, uh, Robina State School. Oh, because yeah, because 
all your festival, most of your festival is in Ravina State School. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, the Japan Friends Day this year is yeah. going to the Broad Beach Culture Center. Okay. But uh, uh, the Ravina State School has the uh, Japanese uh, school, uh, right. you, you know, Japanese school, and yeah. also the uh, the Ravina State School. It's uh, it has the uh, Japanese uh, special classes. Right. right. So the uh, we are uh, good relationship with them. So very, very good. good. Very good. Well. I'm looking forward for your event in yes. September uh, because I usually visit there every year. Mm. So we all looking. I, I see over there. I meet a lot of multicultural leaders yeah. and people from the uh, pol political uh, departments and mm. government departments, and uh, and of course uh, uh, the police. They all mm. come for this event. And uh, I give you. I wish you all the success mm -hmm. as every year you do very successfully. Thank you very and all much. And the same this year. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming. Okay. Thank now, you. Some before you leave, mm -hmm. I've got a small token appreciation for coming over this today. Oh. So this is for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, and the award says, award of appreciation presented to Nao Hirano for appearing in Baba's talk show and for his services to the community. You deserve it because you do a lot of services for the community. Thank, Thank you. you so much, brother. Thank, Thank you, you, brother. Actually. So, till next time, we'll see you uh, with another special guest star. Okay, all the best. Take care.